if I start telling people about hell, I might just scare them off. Where are you gonna scare them off to? Hell number two? Or are you just gonna sit there and let them burn? Well, you have any more um, questions that are that's just not gonna uh, lie? Yes, I, I I have quite a number more. Doc, you know, um, yes. we see in our, you, you talked about the political climate. Um, yeah, you talk about how uh, Donald Trump uh, has become a Christian. And um, I, one of the things I wanted to say, do you, and I'm just, just asking you now, do you think that the former president is finished? President Obama, or do you think he still has another role to play somewhere um, in the future? Well, okay, there are rumors that he's going to be, try to become the Secretary General of the United of the United Nations. Okay. Um, not after the disaster he made of America, but then again, that was part of the plan. You know, yeah. I love the way he tried to espouse he was a Christian. When I personally know he's a hardcore Muslim, mm. <laughs> yeah. you know, and I will not back down from that statement because I am planning on writing another DVD in the um, Secrets of the Illuminati series. That's one of the series I've I, I've got two series. Well, one I, one is supposed to be finished, you know, but I'm always adding to it. I don't know why. Um, there's a second one I'm working on right now. Um, a number of DVDs is in it. It's called um, "It's in the Bible" series, and I'm I may be working on a third one, but I, I'm planning on writing a DVD exposing Obama for the true Muslim that he really is. You know, mm -hmm. I, I'm thinking yeah. of him trying to say he's a Christian, and yet all he can do is pop and beat up on you know the poor Christians. Uh, yeah. A Muslim with yeah, Christian tendency. You know, Vince, you know, Vince comes the biblical expression physician here by itself. You know? Mm. Um, if, he, if he was um, a Christian, as he claims he is, his actions um, state completely off the opposite. And the Bible does mm. tell us, by their fruits you shall know them. You shall know them. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You know, his fruits are as rotten to the core as you can get them. Yeah. Mm. And his role, as far as trying to get the secretary general position, I don't think he's going to get it. Now, it's interesting that he claimed, now this is what he claimed. The only reason he was going to stay in Washington was because his daughter has, I think, three more years left in college, and he didn't want to just uproot her. Right. Uh, first of all, I don't buy it, because college, mm -hmm. college kids transfer all the time. Second of all, the reason I'm convinced he was saying was so he could try to control the political climate of the Democrats. Because not even um, a week after Trump was president, Obama stuck his nose into it. Yep. Yep. Saw that. You know, so, no, I'm not buying his excuse. Well, my daughter's in college, so I'm going to make sure she finishes there before we move. You know, out of Washington D.C. Yeah, tell me another one. <laughs> yeah, we, we see all of that going on in the background, and it's just amazing to us the the, the, the climate that that's in flux right now. Uh, exactly. Well, that's because the establishment there doesn't know how to control Trump. Yeah. See, that's the problem. The one thing they will usually offer the person is money or power. Well, no. Donald Trump had both before he even set foot in D.C. Yeah, so you right. can't offer him something he doesn't already have. <laughs> so yeah. as, I, as I told you before, he's a wild card. They don't know what to do because they can't control him. Hmm. Oh. Well... That's, this, that's um, what, and that's exactly what D.C. needed, was an old-fashioned wake and shake them up and bring them back to what the Constitution says and not what the politicians say. Correct. Amen. Yeah. Amen. You know, I agree with that know, totally. This, this has been a very fruitful conversation. We have three minutes and 22, 21, 20 seconds left. So... 
<laughs> what would you like to close out on, um, Mr. Marquis? Oh, don't ask me that. I never know what to say. <laughs> no, well, it's your show. You close it up the way you want to close it out. <laughs> well, you know, we want to thank you for uh, coming on our show and giving this information that you've given tonight. And we want people yes. out there to just. I, I didn't hear that last. What was that? We just want people to be attentive in their reading of their Bibles to understand that Ooh, the, reality, the reality of the dark side and the light side is all there. If you believe in a God, then there has to be a devil. If you believe in a devil, there has to be a God. If you believe in demons, there must be angels. So, exactly. in this world that we live in, there's only one Savior, and his name is Jesus Christ. Rory, you've got two minutes left to say something. And I say the same. There's only one mediator between God and man, and that is the man. He came and lived among us. He died for our sins, and he redeemed us by the blood. The blood, him shedding his blood for us, dying on the cross for us so that we can rede be redeemed. And that's why we are here. That's why Doc Marquis is here tonight. That's why we are all here, because of what Jesus Christ has done in our lives, and he has saved us and brought us back. So, yes, when we look out on the world and we see all the things that are going on out in the world, we know beyond the shadow of a doubt there is a true and living God that loves us so much that while we were yet sinners, Christ died. Doc, I don't know if you have any closing remarks. Please go ahead, sir. Well, I would tell those people, uh, well, I would ask everyone one question. If you were walking across the highway right now and you got ran over by an 18-wheeler, you're dead beyond the point of dead. Do you know for a certainty where, would you, where you would end up? Would you end up in heaven or would you end up in hell? And if you don't know the answer, talk um, to Rory or Chris. Call them up or call me up. Let one of us know you don't know if you would end up in heaven or hell. And if you want to know for certain, we can show you how you can be certain once and for all. Amen. Amen. Well, Doc, thank you again for coming on. And we'd love to have you back um, to talk again. So, um, yes. You want me to talk again? You've got the number. Just get a hold of me. All right. Thank you so much, Doc. It was, it was great. Oh, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. If you like our videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get all our frequent updates.